What is up you guys, Josh here today, back at it today with a brand new YouTube video. Today we're going to talk about my next cosplay. As you guys know, I'm a huge fan of the Uncharted video games. I have a PlayStation 3, I had all of the Uncharted games pretty much on the PlayStation console, and I also have the Uncharted uh, Nathan Drake collection, the remastered version of those games. And so, you know, while we're all kind of dealing with this thing that we're all kind of experiencing together, um, I kind of wanted to put together a really cool and really realistic Uncharted Nathan Drake cosplay. And so today I have here my cheap and budgetary friendly Nathan Drake cosplay. This is going to be the Uncharted 3 Nathan Drake. Now I do have a Uncharted 2 as well as Uncharted 4 Nathan Drake cosplay that I will be breaking down and pretty much giving you guys sort of the rundown of the things that I bought and purchased from Amazon so that hopefully you guys can purchase those same things and do your own budgetary friendly cosplays as well. I'm really a big fan of this character, Nathan Drake, because he is an adventurer, he is an explorer, he likes to hunt for, you know, different treasures and stuff like that. And the games themselves are pretty much like a mix between Die Hard meets Indiana Jones, and I really do love the Indiana Jones franchise, so that's another reason why I kind of like the character. Nathan Drake is just kind of one of those everyman characters that you can kind of grow to love over time. You know, has all these flaws that he eventually has to come, overcome, and he eventually has this really great hero story that I will talk about in later video game reviews. I'm gonna go through the entirety of the, vi the video game franchise leading up to the Uncharted film, which I do plan on reviewing the Uncharted film. Now, I think that when that movie comes out, I would like to kind of wear sort of my Uncharted getup. I don't know which costume I'm actually gonna wear, but I think it'd be kind of cool to review the movie while wearing sort of the Nathan Drake attire. So with that comes buying everything that comes with it, which is this shirt. You get the cargo pants that he wears and this really cool uh, Nathan Drake style watch, which, um, all this stuff is relatively affordable. I think the only thing that I really spent a lot of money on was the watch that kind of looks like Nathan Drake's watch from the video games. Um, the shirt itself is a white Henley shirt, which you can find on Amazon for like 20 to 30 bucks, I think. I don't know the exact price offhand, but I know it was really cheap compared to some of the other stuff that I could, um, you know, personally buy for. Um, this is a long sleeve version. I rolled it up so it kind of matches Nathan Drake's character in both the video games and the images that you've seen in sort of the life, the action shots for the movie which uh, Tom Holland is actually playing Nathan Drake in that film, which is a long time coming because originally Mark Wahlberg was supposed to play the character of Nathan Drake, but he kind of, you know, the project went along to the point where they just had Tom Holland play the character. And I think either one of those choices would have been really cool to kind of see as sort of the choices for Nathan Drake. So I am really excited for this movie. I hope that it doesn't get delayed anymore. It was supposed to come out this year and I think it got pushed back to 2022. So hopefully this gives them enough time to work on the movie, kind of perfect it. And then when it comes out, hopefully it'll be an awesome sort of experience for everybody that's a fan of the franchise like me. But um, in either case, uh, this is a white Henley shirt. Like I said, it's 20 or $30. Doesn't really cost that much. Um, I know that some of the shirts now are pretty much, you know, currently unavailable, such as this white Henley shirt itself. I think I probably bought the last one because when I went to go see if I could rebuy it, just to kind of have another one just in case. It was actually sold out, which is kind of weird because I've never really had that experience where I bought something and all of a sudden, like a week or two later, you know, they're all kind of sold out, but that is neither here nor there. Uh, the next thing that I bought was these khaki tan colored cargo pants. Um, these are just, you know, standard Wrangler cargo pants that you can find on Amazon. Mine are actually 3230 because I'm a 3230 waist size and you're going to have to buy the size that is, you know, pretty much right for you. But that was also another 20 to $30. It didn't really cost that much and, you know, once I finally knew which size order to kind of buy for in terms of my pants size, that was relatively easy. I just bought them off of Amazon and they shipped them here within a week. Everything that I bought pretty much arrived either the same day as I bought my other stuff or it arrived like the day later. So it wasn't really too bad on in, term, in terms of weight size, like some of the other stuff that I bought in terms of my Indiana Jones gear and some of the other cosplays that I've actually currently done. Um, if you want to go check those videos out, uh, do check those out on my channel. Next thing that I bought was these Rhino gear um, boots. These are just the Rhino gear. They're khaki or tan colored and they look relatively similar to that of Nathan Drake's in the video games. I was kind of going off of the um, Hot Toys collectibles or whatever the collectibles was that they made with the Uncharted Nathan Drake uh, sort of attire and get up. And I was also referencing sort of in-game sort of cutscene footage that you saw from the Uncharted um, 3 trailer that came out a while back, you know, with Nathan Drake, you know, pretty much crashing from the cargo plane. And then it kind of just picks up from there. Um, I kind of wanted to replicate that entire getup because that is my favorite version of Nathan Drake. I do like the Uncharted 2 Nathan Drake and the Uncharted 4 one. Um, the other thing that I picked up was this fossil uh, leather watch. Nathan Drake pretty much wears a watch similar to this in the video games. It's got a leather strap on it and then, you know, 
it um, has sort of, like in the video games, it's actually a little bit darker, but this one has some silver on it. And I didn't think it was gonna be that much of an issue just because it looks relatively similar. It has these three dials on it. Now, either way, I think this is a relatively cool watch. It looks like the one from the game. It didn't cost me that much money. It was like, I'd like to say like $30, $40 for this watch. Um, but you know, either way, I think it's definitely worth the money, especially if you're paying money for a watch and you don't want to spend a couple hundred dollars for the legit watch because they did actually sell an Ethan Drake style watch a while back. It was for the Uncharted 4 game, I think, and they had sort of a replica watch and you could buy that online. It was like a couple hundred dollars, but I did not have the money for the time uh, at the time that they were selling the watch and I just didn't want to spend that kind of money anyway on a watch. And for a cheap, you know, $30 to $40 watch. I think this is definitely worth the money. It definitely looks the part of Nathan Drake. The next thing that I bought was the Shapeways Uncharted 3 Nathan Drake ring. Now, unfortunately, I can't really wear this ring. Um, it does say Sick Parvis Magna on sort of the sides here. I don't know if you can see it, if it'll if it'll focus, but you know, it does say Sick Parvis Magna on it. I think that once I get a leather cord, uh, to sort of wrap around the ring and then sort of tie the end of the knot for the necklace. Um, I can pretty much make this a useful sort of tool to my Uncharted 3 cosplay. Um, there is several uh, tutorial videos online, so all you have to really do is purchase some $8 leather cord and then tie it around sort of the Uncharted 3 Nathan Drake ring. But this is the Uncharted 3 Nathan Drake ring from Shapeways. I really do like this ring a lot. I think that it definitely does add sort of that awesomeness to sort of the whole package when you're trying to do the uh, costume of Nathan Drake from the Uncharted games. But there you have it. The other thing that you're gonna to wanna to have is this scarf. Now this scarf was sold on Amazon. I forget the name of the official scarf, but maybe I'll leave a link to the scarf in the description here, but you can definitely find the name for it online. It's relatively easy to find. But I chose the black and sort of the white because it kind of matches the one that Nathan Drake has within the games and it kind of has that sort of desert pattern that he has and I really wear a lot of white and sort of black anyway so I think it kind of matches with my attire. You can also go with sort of the blue and, and the white which I think would definitely look good as well and I think that's a little bit more accurate. Um, the belt that I'm wearing is just my old school sort of you know American Eagle belt. Um, you know it's pretty much the one that I've had on me for several years now and it's definitely done the trick so far. But that there you have it. That is the Uncharted 3 cosplay. It was relatively easy to do. It's something that's really simple. You don't have to spend that much money on. It's relatively budgetary friendly, as I like to call it. You know, I like doing these budgetary cosplays because they look really good, look relatively accurate to the, uh, you know, cos to the gear and the costume that is in the games. And you know, these boots were about the only real expensive thing that I think I actually really bought for this. You know, the ring itself was like 30 bucks, uh, 30, 40 bucks on Shapeways. The watch itself was like another 40 bucks, but you know, other than the boots, I think that you could pretty much find everything else that you would need. Um, if you've got stuff at home that kind of looks similar, you don't have to use a Henley shirt, but this looks closely uh, accurate to the one in the games. In my opinion, it looks really good compared to some of the other shirts that are out there that you could buy. And the material that they use is really nice and you can actually wear it out and stuff like that. And especially if you're going to a movie premiere, if you're going to a screening for the Uncharted film, and you want to kind of dress up like Nathan Drake, if you want to go to a convention or a comic con, you know, when those things eventually do come back online, I'm hoping they eventually come back on, online at least, you know, San Diego Comic-Con or even New York Comic-Con at least, then you could definitely, you know, go as Nathan Drake uh, to one of these conventions. You don't have to spend a lot of money. This stuff looks really good, especially when you're cosplaying as Nathan Drake. And it's definitely something that when you're wearing this stuff, when you're wearing this gear, you're going to get a lot of people's attention. They're going to ask you, like, are you cosplaying as Nathan Drake? Are you trying to be like, you know, Nathan Drake from the Uncharted games? And you can tell them that yes, indeed, in fact, that you are kind of trying to re replicate sort of the outfit, the gear that Nathan Drake wears in sort of the video games and the attire that he wears because it's relatively casual stuff. It's not stuff that is really hard to find. You know, you could easily go to Kohl's and buy this. You don't have to go to Amazon or Target and, you know, look for some of this stuff. But um, I am pretty impressed with this Uncharted 3 Nathan Drake, Drake's Deception uh, cosplay. Um, let me know in the comment section down below um, if you want to see me try on sort of the cosplay gear for the Uncharted 2 cosplay and even the Uncharted 4 cosplay, which I did. I did not do the Uncharted 1 cosplay just because it's relatively easy. It's just a guy in a white t-shirt and jeans, which is relatively similar to this, so it's not really that necessary to kind of go over sort of the Uncharted 1 cosplay. But let me know in the comment section down below if you want to see some of the other Uncharted cosplays that I've pretty much put together. I'm trying to get into this whole cosplay thing because I feel like once the stuff goes back online, I kind of want to go to some cons myself. I kind of want to dress up as Nathan Drake. Maybe go to San Diego Comic-Con or New York Comic-Con because I do have family members who live in California. 
and who live in San Diego itself. So I could definitely go and attend, you know, one of these days and one of these conventions. But it's also a fun thing to keep me preoccupied because I definitely think that, you know, you'll see this gear in future videos. I'll definitely wear it to review sort of the games and stuff. So um, hopefully hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed sort of my breakdown of my Uncharted 3 Nathan Drake cosplay. And as always, guys, rate, comment, subscribe for my future videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.